good morning my friends how are you i hope uh, i am finding you in good health and i hope you are keeping safe i hope you are uh, maintaining all the necessary precaution that we have been told to observe as we battle the coronavirus uh, crisis and i believe that the lord will keep you and your household safe in the name of jesus this morning i want to encourage you with a few words uh, as the lord has laid it in my heart we are living at a critical time when every heart is full of fear and uncertainty many are confused and perplexed at this time a lot of people have lost hope many are in despair and frightened to death but i have news for you i have news for you at times like this god's promises should be our anchor god's promises should be our anchor particularly if you are a christian at times like this god's promises should be our anchor you remember that in the bible there is a lot of scriptures that promises us of what god will do when we are in crisis like psalm 46 for example says the lord is my help my refuge and strength a very present help in time of need these are anchor scriptures that we should hold on to when things are tough uh psalm 23 says the lord is my shepherd i shall not want uh, what does a shepherd do? A shepherd protects his flock, take care of them, guide them through greener pastures, take them to the place of still water where they can find a refreshment for their thirsty soul. At this critical stage of our life as a nation and in the world at large, I would like you to put your hope in the Lord. In the book of Joshua, Joshua chapter 1, verse 9, the Bible says, Have I not commanded you? Be strong and of good courage. Do not be afraid, nor be dismayed. For the Lord your God is with you wherever you go. This is the word of God to you today. Don't allow fear to cripple you. Look unto Jesus. He will not fail you. In Psalm 121 verse 1, the Bible, the psalmist says, I will lift up my eyes unto the hills from where comes my help. Verse 2 says, my help, my help comes from the Lord, who made the heavens and the earth. Verse 3 says, he will not allow your foot to be moved. He who keeps you will not slumber. You see, the Lord is faithful. He's the one who keeps you. He's the one who keeps me. He's the one who watches over his children. He has promised that he will keep you in time of danger. And in this period that we are going through, I would like you to focus on the promises of God rather than the news that is scary that is going on through the media. The Bible says, whose report will you believe? For me, I will believe the report of the Lord. I don't know about you. The Lord can protect you. He can protect your family. He can protect your property. He can preserve you from this infirmity. Praise the name of the Lord. Um, as I keep telling you that the promise of God is the best you can hang on. In verse 5 of that, of that Psalm 121, it says, The Lord is your keeper. The Lord is my keeper as well. Huh? It said, The Lord is your keeper. The Lord is your shade at your right hand. You see, the Lord is your keeper, the Lord is your shade at your right hand. He said, the sun shall not smite thee by day, nor the moon by night. That means that when you come under the protection of the Lord, you come under the shadow of the Almighty. His wings preserves you. His shadow protects you from evil. It's like when there is a rain and you have put an umbrella over your head to protect your head, from the rainwater falling upon you that is what the protection of the lord does to us as 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 believers praise the name of the lord see the lord is able to keep his promises unto those people who can trust in him hallelujah in psalm 91 in psalm 91 the bible says he who dress in the secret place of the most high shall abide under the shadow of the almighty I will say of the Lord is my refuge and my fortress, my God in whom I trust. How can you dwell in the secret place of the Most High? How can you dwell? It's by believing in His promises. 
It's by holding on to the word that God has spoken through the pages of the Bible. It's by holding on to the word that the prophets are encouraging you with, the ministers of the Lord. When they tell you have faith in God and when you put your faith in that word, that word becomes a shield. The word of God becomes a shield that preserves and protects protect you. It becomes a fortress that cannot be penetrated by the forces of darkness. Praise the name of the Lord. He says, surely, the Lord will save you from the fowler snare and from the deadly pestilence. You see, this is the word of God. Psalm 91 verse 3. Say, surely, the Lord will save you from the fowler snare and from the deadly pestilence. Who is a fowler here? Satan is a fowler. Satan is the orchestra of evil. Satan is the one who always wants to bring pain into the life of people. He's the one referred to here as a fowler. In the book of Psalm 91 verse 3. It says, the Lord will protect you. He will save you from the snare of the fowler and from the deadly pestilence. COVID-19 is a deadly pestilence. It has killed the world to a standstill. But for those of us who are Christians, we are not afraid of COVID-19. Yes, we take precautions, but we are not afraid. For the Bible says, except the Lord builds the house. Those who build the labor in vain. Listen, if God does not protect you, no matter the precaution you take, you will still be exposed it's God who protects. So I want to encourage you, my friends. Why you take precautions while you wash your hands with soap and water, while you sanitize your hands, while you keep your environment ventilated, while you keep a good hygiene? Remember, they are not enough to save you. If the devil wants to get you, regardless of your cleanliness, he will still strike you. Unless the Lord protects you. The Bible says, except the Lord watch over the city. The watchmen, they stay awake in vain. God is our sure protection at a time like this and this is what i want to encourage you with it says in verse 4 of psalm 91 he will cover you with his feathers and under his wings you will find refuge what is a refuge a refuge is a place of protection in the face of danger a refuge is the place of preservation in the in the face of devastation a refuge is a place of comfort in the face of discomfort he says, in his feathers, you will find refuge under the shadows of his wings. Hallelujah. The Lord is our refuge and strength. The very present help in time of need, says Psalm 46. Praise the name of the Lord. In verse 5, he says, in verse 4, he says, uh, in verse 5, he says, you will not fear the terror of the night, the terror of the night, nor the arrow that flies by day. There is a lot of terror going on at night. There is a lot of evil arrows flying by the day. Say, so you shall not be afraid of them. You see, nor the pestilence that stalks in the darkness, nor the plague that destroys at midday. A thousand may fall at your side, ten thousand at your right hand, but it will not come near you. You will only observe with your eyes and see the punishment of the wicked. This is the word of God to you. People may die left, right and center, but if your hope is in the Lord, the Lord says you are preserved. I want to encourage you this morning. I want you to be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. I want you to anchor your faith in his promises. The word of God never fails. God is faithful. When he speaks, his words never returns to him void. Believe in the Lord. My friends, if you are a Christian, this is the time for you to prove to the world that your God is alive. Hallelujah. You cannot be afraid the way those who don't know God is afraid. I am so disappointed in so many believers. A lot of people are scared. I wonder what they have been learning in churches where they worship. So many people are afraid of a plague. They are supposed to heal. Hallelujah. This is the time for your faith to rise. Brothers and sisters, the strength of light is tested in darkness. When there is no darkness, light is useless. This is the time for you to practice your faith as a Christian. This is the time for you to prove to yourself that your faith in Christ is not in vain. This is the time for you to show the world that the power of life through the blood of Jesus that you believe in is truly alive today. Amen. The Bible said the blood of Jesus speaks better things than the blood of Abel. This is our protection. The blood of Jesus, the word of God is our shield, our faith. That is our anchor. We cannot be afraid. Hallelujah. You remember the story of the Israelites? During the 10 plagues in Egypt, in Goshen, the Bible said there was light. Plague was devastating Egypt, but in Goshen there was peace. Why? Because the blood of the Lamb has protected them. Because they believe in the God of Abraham. Hallelujah. If you are a 
believer in the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac and Jacob, no plague can come near you. That is the sure promise of God. Yes, we are not going to be careless. For the Bible says we cannot tempt the Lord our God. We are going to take precaution. But we know that precaution does not save anyone. It is only the Lord that saves. Hallelujah. Unless the Lord builds the house. Psalm 127. Huh? The laborers, they labor in vain. Except the Lord watch over the city. Those who are watching over it, the Ascaris, they stay awake in vain. Let your faith arise in you and believe in these promises that God has given unto you. Don't be afraid like men and women who have no hope, for your hope is in Christ. The Bible says Christ in you is the hope of glory. Hallelujah. Joshua 1 9 says, Have I not commanded thee? Be of good courage. Do not be afraid, nor be dismayed. For the Lord thy God is with you. Wherever you go, God is with you, my friend. God is with you. God is going to take care of your finances at this time. God is going to take care of your protection at this time. God is going to take care that you're, you are in good health at this time. All you need to do is to give him the opportunity to do it. And that opportunity is by you believing in him and in his words. Praise the name of the Lord. You see, if you make the most high your dwelling, even the Lord who is my refuge, then no harm will befall you. No disaster will come near your tent. That is, no disaster will come near your, your house. For he will command his angels concerning you to guard you in all your ways. They will lift you up in their hands so that you will not strike your foot against a stone. Hallelujah. It says you will tread upon the lions and the cobra. You will trample the great lions and the serpent. Because you have loved the Lord, the Lord will rescue you. Say, he will protect you. Because you have acknowledged his name. Because you have called upon him, the Lord will answer you at this time of trouble. He says he will be with you in the time of trouble and deliver you and honor you. So with long life, he will satisfy you. Hallelujah. This is the promises of God for you. Right now, when you tune into your radio stations, when you tune in into your TV stations, when you go on your social media, everything you see there is panic, panic, and more panic. It looks like the future is bleak. It looks like there is no end to this crisis. But I tell you, the children of God thrives in crisis. Because it is in the midst of crisis that God shows forth his miracle. How does God come to be God in your life if there is no problem that only God can solve? How can you encounter miracle if there is no hindrance to your progress? How can you encounter breakthrough if there is nothing you are breaking through? How can you encounter spiritual and miraculous signs and wonders if there is nothing that will happen that will shock the world and make them to wonder how could this have happened? And they can only conclude that it's because God is with you. My friend, your fear over your life, your fear over your children's life, your fear over your spouse's life is not going to save you. It is your faith in the word of God that will save you. The government told us we should wash our hands with soap and water, we sanitize our hands, we keep our environment ventilated, and we observe social distancing. Well, all well and good, no problem, but that is not a guarantee of protection, my friend. The blood of Jesus and his word is our protection. Hallelujah. The Bible says in the book of John 1, it says, the light shines in darkness, and darkness cannot comprehend it. Jesus Christ is the light of the world. Amen. And he has said, you and I, we are the salt of the earth and also the light of the world. Right now, my friends, you need to begin to shine as light. This is the time for you to prove that you are a believer. Hallelujah. This is the time for you to show yourself that your faith in God is not in vain. Do not allow fear. Do not allow fear. Yes, it is scary out there. It is scary. I know it is very scary. People are dying like chicken. It is scary, but do not allow fear to overtake you. Do not allow fear. Do not give room to fear. The Bible says, fear not. Say, so be careful for nothing, but with prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, make your request known unto the Lord. Hallelujah. Do not be afraid. In the face of fear, put up courage. For the Lord your God is with you wherever you go. Hallelujah. I want to encourage you with these few words. Hold on to faith in God. Yeah, sometimes it's, it's, it's frustrating because you really don't know the mind of God. You don't know what to do. When you are in such a situation, 
sing praises to the Lord. Take up a song of praise. Bless his name with songs of praise. In Isaiah 53, 5, the Bible says he was wounded for our transgression. The chastisement of our peace was upon him, and by his stripes we are healed. Even if a sickness manages to find its way into your body, there is hope for divine healing, for by his stripes we are healed. Hallelujah. I am the Lord that he let thee. I am the Lord that he loved. I sent my word and he healed your disease. I am the Lord, your healer. He is the Lord, your healer. His name is Jehovah Rapha. He is the God, the healer. He is the only one who can see you and I through this situation. The government will try and they are doing their best and we thank god for the kenyan government we are grateful to god for our president we thank the lord for the minister of uh, the the cabinet secretary for health and all uh, and the peers and we thank the lord for the police uh, ig we thank the lord for all our medical personnel they are doing a great and fantastic job even the doctors will tell you we care but god heals hallelujah so our god is the healer and right now, maybe as you are listening to me there, or for those who watch this broadcast afterwards, maybe there is an infirmity, there is a sickness in your body that has nothing to do with coronavirus. Maybe it's cancer, maybe it's HIV, maybe it's uh, pneumonia, maybe it's some, uh, some terminal diseases. By the power and the anointing in the name of Jesus, I speak healing into your system in the name of Jesus. I destroy the yoke of sickness over your body, the yoke of infirmity, the root of sickness in your life. I uproot it and I set it on fire in the name of Jesus. I command the anointing of healing to come upon you right now in the name of Jesus, in your eyes, in your lungs, in every part of your body, from the crown of your head to the sole of your feet, to through every fiber of your being, I command the healing power of the Lord to strike the sickness in you and destroy it from its roots in the name of Jesus. My friend, keep your faith alive in God. Keep your faith alive. Some of you are at home right now. Don't uh, just listen only to the news. Encourage yourself with some motivational things. You can listen to worship songs. You can you can pray with your children. You can sing praises to God. You can read some. You can listen to some some other encouraging uh, encouraging stuff. Uh, just take your mind out this negative news that is that is just you know discouraging people. Praise the name of the Lord. The Lord is your refuge and your strength, a very present help in time of need. I want to assure you today that our God is bigger than coronavirus. Remember the plague in Egypt did not go near Goshen. Goshen was the place where the Israelites live. And you are a spiritual Israelite. Wherever you are, the presence of God is there. I command the peace of God to come upon your home. I cover your home, your offices, your business complexes with the blood of Jesus. And I command the angels of God to set guard over you and to watch over you as it is promised in this book of Psalm 91 that he has given his angels charge over you to bear you up in their hands so that you don't dash your foot against a stone. I pray for you this hour that the Spirit of the Lord will coordinate your, your life, will guide your steps, and will take care of you in the name of Jesus Christ. If there is any one of you that has been exposed to this coronavirus, I command divine healing to take place in you in the name of Jesus. And for those of you who are trusting the Lord because you know He is your preserver, I pray that your faith in God will not fail you in the name of Jesus Christ. I encourage you, Keep on trusting. Keep on trusting. There is power in the blood of Jesus. There is power. And it's possible that some of you are out there. Life has dealt with you in a very crooked manner. I want to encourage you. There is hope in God. Yes. Yeah, just believe in the Lord. I have seen God. Last year, there was one of us that the Lord healed of some chronic terminal disease. Just through prayers. Hallelujah. I have seen miracles happen. There was another lady who came to me to pray just yesterday. There was a lump in her breast. And by now, the lump is already disappearing. Uh, this, is, this, is, this is the power in the name of Jesus. Uh, hallelujah. I will encourage some of you who are born again Christians. You can find the blood of Jesus and serve your family, the communion. You can serve it at home. The New Testament allow you. You, know, you take the blood of Jesus and the body of Christ and you speak life into your system. Hallelujah. 
Yeah, you speak like this our, our weapon of warfare. The Bible says, For we do not wrestle against flesh and blood, we wrestle against uh, spiritual forces of darkness. The devil is the one we are fighting, he's just using men who are producing all this evil to attack us so I, I want you to put your trust in the lord whatever you are going through right now it could be financial crisis it could be marital problems it could be uh, job issues it could be poverty it could be loneliness even it could be suicidal spirit it could be addiction i speak divine solution into your situation in the name of jesus christ some of you are trusting the lord for the fruit of the womb i command divine fruitfulness to come upon you in the name of Jesus, some of you are trusting the Lord for prosperity. I command the spirit of prosperity. For he says, I am the one who gave it the power to get weight. Command the spirit of prosperity to come upon you in the name of Jesus. Some of you are trusting the Lord for peace in your marriage. I speak divine restoration of love into your union in the name of Jesus. Some of you are trusting the Lord to watch over your kids. Some of them are wayward. Some of them are stubborn. Some of them are into, into drugs and abuse of substances. Today, I speak correctness into your children in the name of Jesus. The Bible says your children shall be raised of the Lord and grace shall be your peace. Today, I pray that the peace of the Lord will rest upon you. And concerning your children, the Lord will grant you peace in the name of Jesus. Whatever you are trusting the Lord for today, I receive an answer for you in the name of Jesus. Keep on keeping safe. Keep on keeping faith. Keep on keeping faith alive in the, in the Lord. Remember, it's the Lord that healed thee. Hallelujah. And remember, God will make a way where there seems to be no way. At this critical moment, let your hope hang on his word. Let your hope hang on his promises. Do not pay attention to the negative news that is going on in the media, on our TV stations. Yes, those news are there for your information, but do not pay attention to them. Hallelujah. Do not allow the negative news to control the discourse of your imagination. Allow the promises of God to control the discourse of your imagination. Hallelujah. Live by the word of God. Eh? Whose report will you believe? For me, I shall believe the report of the Lord. He says, you shall not die, but live. Eh? And declare the goodness of God in the land of the living. He says, no diseases that he has put upon the, Israel, uh, the, the Egyptians shall come upon you. That is the report of the Lord. He says, the Lord your God is with you wherever you go. He says, the Lord is your shield. That is the report of the Lord. The Lord is your protection. He says, by his stripes you are healed. Which means infirmity has no place in your life. Sickness has no place in your life. Plagues have no place in your life. You understand? epidemic has no place in your life and if they have found a way there i command them out in the name of jesus may the peace of the lord rest and abide with you god bless you my friends keep on keeping up with your faith speak the word of life upon yourself confess the promises into your life confess the promises a closed mouth is a closed destiny. Open your mouth and declare healing upon yourself. Open your mouth and declare life upon your children. Open your mouth and declare prosperity over your home. Open your mouth and declare peace upon your life. As you declare this peace upon your life, heaven will act into your voice and it shall be as you have decreed it. God bless you. Keep the faith and the fire of faith burning. Remember, we are living in a critical time, but our God is stronger than the crisis we are going through. Huh? Our God is more powerful than coronavirus. Our God is more powerful than the plan of the devil. Amen. There is nothing that can stand against our God. Our God cannot be defeated. Peace be unto you. Shalom. God bless you.